In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on March 8, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Brooklyn Nets vs. Charlotte Hornets The Nets travel to Charlotte to take on the Hornets Tuesday night. Both teams carry identical 32-33 records into this game as they scramble for positioning at the bottom of the Eastern Conference playoff picture. Brooklyn has lost four straight as they continue to fall off from their hot start while Charlotte has won their last two games. This will be the second meeting of the season between the two teams, with Charlotte taking the first game in Brooklyn. The Charlotte Hornets have been in decent form lately as they've won three of their past five games and they will be aiming for a third straight win after outlasting the Spurs in a 123-117 win on Saturday. Terry Rozier led the way with 31 points on 10 of 18 shooting. LaMelo Ball added 24 points with 8 rebounds and 7 assists while Montrezl Harrell chipped in with 15 points off the bench. As a team, the Hornets shot 46% from the field and 16 of 42 from the three-point line as they struggled to gain any separation until they clamped down defensively in the fourth quarter, holding the Spurs to just 10 points in the final seven minutes and 42 seconds to escape with the narrow victory. Meanwhile, the Brooklyn Nets have been in terrible shape as they've lost six of their last seven games overall and they will be hoping to arrest a four-game slide after getting stopped by the Celtics in a 126-120 road loss on Sunday. Kevin Durant led the team in scoring with 37 points, 6 rebounds and 8 assists. Kyrie Irving added 19 points with 6 assists while Bruce Brown chipped in with 16 points and 5 assists. As a team, the Nets shot 50% from the field and 12 of 27 from the three-point line as they kept pace with the Celtics in a close contest until the fourth quarter where the Celtics closed the final 3 minutes and 14 seconds on a 16-9 run snatched the game from them in the end. Seth Curry scored just 8 points while Andre Drummond scored just 6 points and on the defensive end. They just didn't have an answer for the Celtics' Jason Tottenham, who scorched them for 54 points. Looking at the betting trends, the Nets are 4-1-1 to to against the spread in their last six road games and 2-5 to against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Hornets are 2-9-1 to to against the spread in their last 12 home games, 9-1-1 to to against the spread in their last 11 games playing on two days rest, and 1-5 to against the spread in their last six games following a win. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 4-1 to in the last five meetings overall, and the Nets are 10 to three against the spread in the last 13 meetings in Charlotte. The Nets are going to be shorthanded again as Lamarcus Aldridge and Ben Simmons are out while Cam Thomas is questionable for this one. The Hornets are still without James Bauknight who is out while Jalen McDaniels is listed as questionable. The Nets could really do with a win to get their season back on track, but the Hornets have found a bit of form over their last couple of games so this one could be a close one. With that being said, the Nets are 10 to three against the spread in the last 13 meetings in Charlotte, and I think that trend continues here. So the Brooklyn Nets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Charlotte plays at the second fastest pace in the league, and Brooklyn keeps up a healthy pace as well, Ranked 11th, there will be lots of extra chances out there, and with both teams stronger on offense than they are on defense this is a clear spot for overbetters. Both teams allow opponents to shoot lots of threes, with Brooklyn ranked 20th and Charlotte ranked 29th which will increase the value of each trip down the court, and Charlotte has the potential to improve on their already strong 35.9% three-point shooting percentage and 13.8 threes made per game to boost the total higher, and in some overtime potential for the closer game and this is a spot where where the smart money will be on the over. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Indiana Pacers The Cleveland Cavaliers have been in a slump as they've lost six of their last eight games overall, but they will be aiming to build some momentum after snapping a three-game skid with a 104-96 win over the Raptors on Sunday. Lori Markinen led the team with 22 points and 12 rebounds. Evan Mobley added 20 points with 17 rebounds and three blocks while Darius Garland and Seti Osman each scored 17 points. As a team, 
The Cavaliers shot 45% from the field and 11 of 36 from the three-point line as they held the Raptors to just 17 points in the second quarter to take a 13-point lead into halftime, which held right till the end as they kept the Raptors to just 39% shooting from the field. The win came at a cost though as Jared Allen played just 10 minutes before leaving the game with a fractured finger. Meanwhile, the Indiana Pacers have been in a rut as they've lost four of their last seven games overall and they will be hoping to snap a two-game skid after getting routed by the Wizards in a 133-123 road loss on Sunday. Malcolm Brogdon led the team with 27 points. Goga by Tads added 20 points on 7 of 7 shooting off the bench. Buddy Heald tallied 19 points with 8 rebounds and 7 assists while Tyrese Halliburton racked up 15 points with 7 rebounds and 11 assists. As a team, the Pacers shot 51% from the field and 10 of 31 from the 3-point line as they poured in 35 points in the second quarter to take the lead into halftime before getting blown away in the second half where they allowed an alarming 76 points to allow the Wizards to slip away in the end. Looking at the betting trends, the Cavaliers are 0-4 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a losing record and 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games overall. The Pacers are 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 home games, 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a winning record and 4-10 against the spread in their last 14 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 9-2 in the last 11 meetings in Indiana. The Cavaliers are 3-7 against the spread in the last 10 meetings in Indiana and the Cavaliers are 3-0-2 against the spread in the last five meetings overall. The Cavaliers are still without Karis LeVert, Rajon Rondo and now Jared Allen, while the Pacers will be missing Chris Duart while Lance Stephenson and Goga Tads are both questionable for this one. The Cavaliers have managed to keep winning games despite being plagued by injuries all season, but the loss of Jared Allen should really challenge them. The Pacers were showing signs of life before getting beaten by the Wizards on Sunday and Halliburton and Heald are starting to look good in their new team. So while the Cavaliers look tempting at the short line, I think the Pacers pull off the minor upset at home in this spot, so Indiana Pacers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Cavaliers like to play at a slow pace and take the right shots. Cleveland is 38 to 24 to 2 in hitting the under while Indiana is 29 to 37, but they do rank 18th in pace at 100.1 while Cleveland ranks 27th with a pace of 98.4. In the Cavaliers' last 5 games, they have gone under 222.5 points in 3 of those games while the Pacers have hit the under in 2 of them. But Cleveland defensively will try to shut down Indiana and not let them score enough to hit the over. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Golden State Warriors The Los Angeles Clippers were on a five-game winning streak on which they beat Houston on three occasions and the Lakers twice but then suffered a disappointing home loss to the New York Knicks. The Golden State Warriors are experiencing the worst period of the campaign as they lost eight of the past ten games and each of the last four. These Pacific Division foes have met three times this season, and Golden State leads the series 2-1. The Clippers were better in six of the previous ten head-to-head -head encounters. The Golden State Warriors Warriors are averaging 111 points on 46.8% shooting and allowing 104.6 points on 43.7% shooting. Stephen Curry is averaging 25.8 points and 6.4 assists while Andrew Wiggins is averaging 17.4 points and 4.3 rebounds. Clay Thompson is the third double-digit scorer and Jordan Poole is grabbing 3.1 rebounds. The Golden State Warriors are shooting 36.2% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free-throw line. The Golden State Warriors are allowing 33.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.5 rebounds per game. The Los Angeles Clippers are averaging 107 points on 45.5% shooting and allowing 107.5 points on 44.6% shooting. Norman Powell is averaging 21 points and 3 rebounds, while Reggie Jackson is averaging 16.9 points and 4.7 assists. Marcus Morris SR is the third double-digit scorer and Luke Kennard is grabbing 3.5 rebounds. The Los Angeles Clippers are shooting 36.6% from beyond the arc and 78.2% from the free-throw line. The Los Angeles Clippers are allowing 33.9% shooting from deep 
deep and are grabbing 44.3 rebounds per game. The Clippers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five road games and 7-2 against the spread in their last nine games overall. The Warriors are 0-6 against the spread in their last six home games and 1-10-1 against the spread in their last 12 games overall. The under is 4-1 in Clippers' last five overall. The over is 7-1-1 in Warriors' last nine overall. The Clippers are 6-1 against the spread in the last seven meetings in Golden State and 5-2 against the spread in the last seven meetings. This line is rather surprising when you consider the Golden State Warriors have been in a slump since the injury to Draymond and they're on the end of a back-to-back. -back. This line doesn't make much sense. The Los Angeles Clippers are quietly playing their best ball of the season with wins in seven of their last nine tries, and they're winning their last five games by an average of three points while allowing 43% shooting from the field. The Clippers lose in the underdog role by an average of just 3.8 points. So the Los Angeles Clippers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Warriors' defense was top of the league for quite some time, but it started to be leakier in the past few weeks. In the last week only, the Warriors allowed 122 plus points in each of three games, and I don't think they will suddenly bounce back from that and keep the Clippers to double digits. Although I don't believe the hosts will surrender 120 plus in this one, I am backing the Clippers to score around 110 without trouble because they will be motivated to respond to a bad shooting night against the Knicks. They already scored 113 plus points in two of three head-to-head -head duels this season so this should be a problem for the visitors. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.